Hey, I'm Aja A, and welcome to Sunshine Haze. Don't forget to check out all the links that I have listed down in the description box. And if you like the video, please give me a little thumbs up. If you have any questions after the video is over, feel free to drop them down below. I try to respond to everyone. And if you all know people interested in astrology, numerology, tarot, or whatever I'm talking about on this channel, go on and send them this link. And don't forget to hit subscribe. And of course, thanks for tuning in and rocking with me. May this info help y'all live your best lives. Peace. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Sunshine Haze Co. I'm Aja A. As you see tarot cards on your screen, you know it's time for a new moon reading. This time around, we're looking at the Sagittarius lunar cycle, so we are looking at the month of December. Um, very quickly, this video is for the Capricorns, Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon, and then like myself, Capricorn Rising. If you feel like what I'm saying isn't resonating with you, go on and check out your moon and or rising sign, which I do have linked down below in the description box, okay? This is going to be your typical four card spread, looking at the energy coming in for you or the energies that you need to be tapping into during this next month. Um, any challenges or obstacles that you might be facing during the month of December. Because we're dealing with Sagittarius energy, looking at where you need to be like Nike or Nike, however you pronounce it. I do, um, not I do believe, I do know it's actually Nike. Small fact, tidbit <laughs> for you guys. And just do it. Um, Sagittarius is a fire energy, so that's what we're going to be looking at here in this spread. And then as always, a quick little soul message for you. Something extra for you to take along with you in regards to what these cards have to say today, okay? So let's just get started. The first card that I have coming up for you, Capricorn, and when I pulled this, I was like, ooh, because y'all, like I said, y'all know I'm a Capricorn rising. Um, this is a bomb-ass card. You've got the blessed card coming up here, and the, the first thing that I could think of and the word that keeps popping up in my mind as I talk about the card is alignment. Um, Capricorn, Saturn has been in your sign. So for those of you with Saturn and Capricorn, you know that life has not necessarily been a walk in the park. For those of you that are in your Saturn returns with Saturn and Capricorn, that's a very difficult placement. So with all that being said, this past year, these past couple of years for you may not have been the easiest. You've got this blessed card coming up here for you. And I'm starting to get chills as I say this because I feel like Capricorn, you are coming into alignment with where you are supposed to be and wherever you are supposed to be is in a positive space. It's an abundant and successful space as well. Things are supposed to be how you want them. Things are supposed to play out in regards to the work that you have done. And this blessed card coming up here says Capricorn, that's going to start playing out in the physical for you and you're actually going to start to be able to see it. Um, things are going to become tangible for you at this time. I also want to talk a little bit about the numerology on this card. You've got the number 22. 22 is a master number. 22 is actually considered the most powerful number. Um, you've got both, a you've got the aspect of two, which is all about cohesion and peace and balance and bringing things together, amplified. And then you've got, it breaks down into four, which is all about stability, foundation and organization. And then you've got the master number element, which is all about teaching and learning. Two is the 22 is a master teacher. So it's about understanding all of the things that you need in order to become blessed, in order to become aligned with what you are supposed to fall into alignment with the month of December, especially because you're getting ready to come on, come into your new year, Capricorn. The month of December is a month of preparation for you, but preparation of a kind that I don't think a lot of you have experienced just yet. I don't think, um, I can, I can, I can pinpoint maybe one or two other times in my life where I, I've felt this energy of change and knowing that something was coming, knowing that something was changing and it being something positive and something major, but not knowing the details, not knowing exactly what it was, but setting myself up and preparing myself and preparing my mental for the changes that are coming in because I know they're going to put me into spaces that I'm supposed to be in. And with that being said, I feel like these are physical shifts and physical changes for you, Capricorn. So I feel like I want to tell you to save your money and, you know, have plans for the things, like tangible plans for the things that you want to see change because the change is coming in for you and it's coming in for you quick. Um, once we come into your new year, Capricorn, the ball is going to be rolling. You're going to be making a lot of shifts, a lot of moves um, in the physical probably and also in as far as your mental and your spiritual spiritual self is, selves are concerned as well okay all right i'm gonna get a sip of water <laughs> before i go on okay capricorn <clears throat> 
Next card in your spread is in the position of the crossing energy. And you've got, ow, you've got the two of water here. And normally this is one of my favorite cards. I like the two of cups. Um, but this is in your crossing position. So with this crossing you being a challenge or an obstacle during this month, um, I, I really pick up on the sense of you having some sort of internal conflict with the moves that you have to make or the changes that are coming in. Capricorn, you are a creature of habit. You're an earth sign and can be very stubborn and very stuck in your ways. When things are shifting, they're changing for a reason. And I feel like you understand this Capricorn, but I also feel like you are very comfortable even if it is not the most ideal situation in the way that you've been living or the way that you've been maneuvering, right? This two of water coming up here says this comfortability is clashing with the way that you're supposed to be positively aligning yourself with your change. Um, so with that being said, Capricorn, we're in a fire lunar cycle this is not time for you to sit pretty. This is not time for you to, you know, kick it and, and, you know, dig your feet into the earth and say, I'm not doing that. I like it like this. This is time for you to tap into that passion of the fire energy and tap into the action of the fire energy and get the ball rolling because you are supposed to be making some changes in order to come into alignment with some things that are going to be really popping for you. Um, on the other hand, this is a general reading and I do have like a quick message that I feel like I had to throw in. Um, this is for those of you that are into tarot, you know, the two of cups is a love card is a connection card with this being a crossing energy. I pick up on the sense that Capricorn, there may be a relationship a romantic or intimate relationship that needs repairing or that you might be having some if you're in a relationship might be having some relationship problems. But I more so pick up on the sense that there might be a somebody from your past that may not necessarily be very prominent in your present, but their connection to you, their cord, so to speak, y'all's cord, um, could be stopping you from making changes or there could be some repairing that needs to be done there in order for you to make changes. I get the sense that either you've got to repair this relationship or you've got to cut the cord and cleanse the energy and let it go in order for you to move forward. So whatever that means to you, for those of y'all that that resonated with I felt like I had to throw that in there so I know that's for somebody but um yeah in general <laughs> as I was saying this internal conflict with what you're comfortable with and what you know and understand and feel in your spirit needs to happen it needs to change you can turn this into an upright position Capricorn go with the flow of the water and y'all know I'm a whole ass water sign and so I'm like here splish splash go do it <laughs> go with the flow of this two of water and go with your passions go with go with you know what you feel you're being pulled to because that is pulling you into this blessed energy this blessed energy of alignment okay all right next card coming up in your spread capricorn is in the position of the sagittarius energy where you need to just do it <laughs> you've got the eight of fire here and this is this is a pretty, I like this card in this deck. It's a pretty positive card. Um, it's a transmutation card. So you really are shifting your energy. There really is some major change happening for you on the surface level and underneath the surface. Um, in the physical, it's tangible and it's and it's very spiritual. Very, It's also very much so associated with your mental, your perspective. Things are changing for you, Capricorn. And because that transmutation of energy is going on, that's that's reflecting for you in the physical okay um as i was saying earlier i feel like some of you might be moving this is a travel card too some of you might be moving some of you might be taking like a a self-discovery trip or some shit i don't know um but this is a card of you know you gotta be down with the change you know it, it the the saying the ten toes down you got to be down with the change whatever is coming in you need to roll with the punches because those punches are coming in for you to bring you into that blessed energy that 22 master number energy this is a bomb spread so far capricorn um this is also a card of very fresh rejuvenated energy um it's a creative card and it's also a card of renewed passion so i get the sense that these changes coming in for you, Capricorn, because I've been talking about alignment, have a lot to do with what you really want to do, how you really want to live, as opposed to how you're living right now and what you're doing right now. So as the change comes in, be open to it. Like, 
don't be earth. <laughs> be all the fire and water that you can be during this next month because, baby, coming into your new year at the end of December, going into January, oh, coming off of Scorpio lunar, uh, lunar season this last month, like Drake said on his album title, nothing was the same. Nothing was the same. Shit's really finna change for you and it's really about to be popping off for you in a really positive and abundant and successful way, okay? This card also comes with this message of change through initiating it. I, I talk, I say, I talk a lot, I do. I say in a lot of my videos, um, you can't expect shit to be different if you don't do something different. So you've got to initiate the change that you want to see come in for yourself, Capricorn. And as you initiate it, you will fall into alignment. As you figure out how to initiate it, you do so. You come into alignment with this blessed energy and you get that really popping ass energy that you need to lay the foundations for this new year that you have coming up for yourself, okay? Yeah, I was reading this lit, yo. Last card in your spread is in the position of the soul message. And Sagittarius got this card too, but I think the message is a little different for you guys here. You've got the color green coming up. And the message on the card is revitalize your nervous system. But, and I mean, that could be on a literal level, like, you know, take care of your health. But I, I get the sense of, rejuvenate respark your passion do something this is where you can be earth because i associate green with earth connect to earth go take a hike go stand out in the snow if you like that shit um you know go do something in nature to reconnect with yourself in order for you to reignite your passions in order for you to reconnect with what it is that you're supposed to be connecting with so that you can come into alignment with this blessed energy green is also associated with the heart chakra and it's also associated with healing so capricorn whatever it is that you need to work through and work on go on and get that shit done because you got some really popping things coming up for you in the near future and you're gonna need a renewed perspective you're gonna need a fresh start you're gonna need this rejuvenated energy in order for you to move forward and take that leap and you know do the things and take the action and all of that that need to be all those things that need to be done okay so yeah capricorn this month is really preparation for the real deal coming up for you which is going to really start at this at the beginning excuse me at the beginning of your new year okay all right that's your spread if you have any questions or comments feel free to drop them down below if you'd like your own personal reading you can book one with me through my etsy shop which i also have linked down below i am having a holiday sale going through christmas which is december 25th for those of y'all that don't celebrate um check out that sagittarius new moon video also linked down below um i don't know if i mentioned it in this video but we did just come off a couple of retrogrades i have my retrograde series playlist linked in the description box as well okay and uh, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for rocking with me. Happy holidays, and I will see y'all next time. Peace.